Hello everyone. A different sort of update today. It's the 15th of October. It's a Monday. It's midday. I'm doing my day job. Um, but even though I'm out on my day job, I can't stop thinking about writing and um, the things that, that I was doing over the weekend. And um, it was an interesting weekend. It's been a hard working weekend because I've been doing some things with Evil Eye. I thought I had finished writing Evil Eye. Uh, and then I've, I've actually discovered that structurally within the story, I could be doing things better. And that came from a reflection on the seven point story structure. So if you're not familiar with that, the idea of the seven point story structure is to step a reader through a story from um, one, the initial thing, which can be called the hook. That's the thing that takes a character from their steady state and pushes them on the journey that the story is going to tell. And then the first plot point becomes developed and following the first plot point is a pinch point where you start to apply pressure to that character and to make them feel uncomfortable and to reveal things about uh, the antagonist's drives. Um, beyond this point, um, you're reaching the midpoint of the story in the second plot point, which takes you through to the second pinch point the third plot point, and then hopefully in a successful story, the resolution step, uh, which is both the climax, in fact, and, and the wrap up for the story. So I was watching a film, a comedy on uh, Friday night and 12% uh, of the way into this film, the, uh, the hook or what's also known as the inciting event was really obvious in this film. So much so that I paused the film and I saw where that event had happened and it was exactly 12% of the runtime of the film. And if you look online uh, for each of these seven points of, of, the, uh, of, of the story structure, um, there's guidance on where they should fall. And the inciting event, the hook is 12% of the way in. And that made me think, maybe if I applied the seven point structure to Evil Eye, I'd get a more impactful story. So on Saturday, I did a full autopsy of Evil Eye uh, and mapped out the hundred and more scenes and who's there, what they're doing, why they're doing it and uh, page count, word count, all this kind of thing. And when I was originally um, scripting up um, the idea for Evil Eye, it was a very logical story. So these scenes that I've written hang together beautifully, but they don't match in their sequence the seven point story plan. Um, so in this autopsy, once I knew exactly how the story was laid out, I then realised that uh, my individual um, plot elements, the sort of set pieces, uh, they were chunked up throughout the book. And they didn't necessarily have to happen in the order that I had in originally intended. They don't have to happen in the, uh, the order they're currently written. And so yesterday, I was swapping the deck around and moving the scenes around and uh, it's given a better structure so I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I'm really pleased with that outcome but of course I've now got to restructure the story. Now I use YWriter 5 which is a free piece of software um, that, that allows you to write uh, in a structured way and uh, so I've already started rejigging my skeleton for Evil Eye into this new structure and uh, once I've got the structure in place, a lot of the effort, in fact, will be just copying and pasting uh, from what I've already written so that things then fall uh, fall into their, their new correct order. So that's going to keep me busy for a short while. The other change that I've made with Evil Eye is I've actually taken out the plot points in the book which require uh, economic change and economic suffering in the UK through Brexit. Um, when I reread the story, it actually on reflection just felt too much like a gimmick. The story itself doesn't need it. Uh, Lisa Blackwood's character arc doesn't need it. And uh, it's going to date the book as well because Brexit's not so far away. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, Brexit is about the United Kingdom deciding to leave the, Europe the European Union. And that will happen um, in, uh, in March of next year. So uh, I'm restructuring the story to the seven point um, story plan, taking out Brexit, doesn't really need it, and hopefully a much more powerful uh, book will come. I think 
but that rewrite and that restructuring will probably only take one or two weeks to complete. Um, but then that will leave me with a stronger story that um, I can then pass on to others to get more feedback on and actually gives me a better foundation to continue my work on Lisa Blackwood book two. And Lisa Blackwood book two is a fascinating character to write for and I'm really enjoying it. So uh, yeah, so that's the weekend. Here we are, it's 15th of October, glorious day, midday, 18 degrees outside. You'd never have guessed there was global warming, would you? But at least I didn't get rained, rained on as I came out. So hope you're all having a great time and uh, we'll update again soon. Bye bye.